Well, welcome back again. Like I said, I, I get to rambling and in another world and I forget that the dang camera ain't rolling. So anyway, before, I don't know how far along this thing has been off, but what I did, let's get this out of the way here. here oh okay where I was before is before I took these two screws out right there I made a series of key marks right here this this uh, stator plate right here for this ignition there's there's elongated slots right here to where this thing can be adjusted either advanced or retarded or whatever however you want to do it like that as far as uh, your ignition but it's probably mainly before the air gap for the coil and the side of the flywheel right there so somewhere I mean I don't know I don't have a factory shop manual or nothing like that but uh, I'm sure there's a tool that they use from the factory that they just set in there and they can clock this thing exactly where they want it you know as far as the the air gap right there but I don't have that so what I did is I made a series of marks right here key marks for when I get ready to put this ignition back on I line it up with those two and I'm right back in the ballpark so now I gotta take this plug wire off and get this off of this because uh, all this has to come out right here That was simple. here grommets so and it all comes back through here just underneath the intake right there through that grommet right there so now we can pull this off I got the screws out so we'll just slowly work it out There's our ignition and a piece of felt that's behind it. I didn't actually have that on mine, so so we got another key right here. We got to get that out. Hopefully, I've got this at a good angle where everybody can see.
But I'm going to keep so as we slide this out from the uh, when we start to split the case right there, we won't have nothing catching. Of course, we're going to get new seals anyway. Piston stop comes out. Okay. On the top panel, S10, the top panel 08, and my 07, they have uh, studs with uh, nuts. These have Allen's right here. So we'll run a pick in there to get all that grime out of there. We can get our Allen wrench all the way up in there. say she's probably it's like a five millimeter We are. I've got Huskies over there. They're cheaper, yeah. But they're not as long. And I tell you what, these uh, these Weehaws. This is uh, 200 millimeters long. However, that matters in inches. We got a tape measure out here. So 200 equals 7 and 7 and 13 16. Pretty nice. So here comes our boy, she's piston's gone for sure. Definitely a different I damn near bet you this thing's got an iron cylinder. Iron iron sleeve. And I am right. Aluminum. Iron. And lots of gouging. I caught it this time. <laughs> I heard it beep. This is a this S10 has an iron sleeve right there. These are open ports. But then there's a port open on these uh, on this iron sleeve right here. Holy schmackaroonies. Looks like it's a chrome plated iron sleeve. That may or well just break us right there. Make or break us on this build right here. Depending on if we can find another 
another cylinder for this thing right here. Well, good morning. We're back here again on our S10 build. Uh, so, I don't know where we left off here, but the cylinder has got some aluminum transfer. I'm going to have to try to clean that up right there. And now I'm going to start to disassemble the case, take the piston off, get the crank out. It's like the fire, fire, fire safety guys are driving by, so hopefully everybody's okay. So anyway, we're going to continue on uh, disassembling this case, get it all ready for the tank and stuff, and uh, so we'll just go from there. So. The piston scored on here pretty bad. You see it's pretty rough right there. It's not going to be able to save that. Ring is kind of stuck in it, so it's history anyway. But anyway, these aren't like old keepers, the, the pin keepers for uh, for most steel saws. These actually have double the ears on there. Looks like a 10 millimeter. Also, the pen. Yeah. So I'm just using a 8 millimeter long barrel to uh, pop that pen out. And like I was thinking, these early model steels like this, like on my old seven, they've actually got. There's the pin bearing, but they also have these thrust washers in here, and that just makes up the slack between the. Between the journals on the piston right there. And I tell you what, if you lose those, good luck on trying to find them. Especially for an 07, because the 07 has got a bigger pin in there. And actually, I had a friend in Alaska that hooked me up with a set on mine to where I could get mine complete. That, that held me up for a couple of months on my 07 build. So anyway, like I said, this piston's toast. It's junk. Pretty roughed up. Gouges all over. And that's what the cylinder looks like and both rings are this ring is stuck on this side right here and the bottom ring is completely stuck so pretty much junk feels dry so the cap there I'm hoping this thing is screwed in Pressed in, I bet you it's pressed in. And it is. Okay, we'll pop this grommet out. Pretty dry rotted. Hopefully, it'll come out one piece. Yep, there she goes right there. So, nothing there. And remember, like I was saying, on most 08s, 07s, they had a wind vane governor set up right here. I don't know if it's got holes in the case, and it does. 
but right there is where it mounted. There was a little bitty, a little bitty wind vane governor that would move as when the saw speeds up. It actually chokes out the carb, is what it does. But with this HS style carb, this plug right here is your governor. So as the saw vibrates, the little ball bearing opens up and lets fuel add into the, it, which chokes it out. So we'll take off the bar guide. That's an easy one there. This one's kind of loose, but let's see. Those bar nuts are pretty war. It was 17s. And we'll get this off. There's our chain tensioner. Get this thing off here, and then the only thing we'll have to do is split the case. There's a little piece of rubber right here. Don't want to lose that. And this whole thing will slide out. There she is. I should put that in a bag. Pretty self explanatory, so we know what that is. Alright, so now we want to dig all this grease and stuff out here and try to figure out where all the case screws and stuff are and make sure we don't... That's what happens when you don't clean your saws. There's two uh, alignment pins in these in this case right here. 